Hi guys. I didn't, I never filmed my part two or I never uploaded it. I did do my part two, which was basically setting up my every next year's plan, which is the MD A6 weekly and um, the Stalogy, but I was just way too chatty in that one, way too excited and all over the place that I decided not to upload that one. But, and anyways, I'm still not done like with my setup for next year. So I'm going to show you something else. I actually, I think I've mentioned a few times that I'm not really feeling the Hobonichi this year. And I'm going to go into, I'm gonna try a bunch of different things. For example, the Kinbor or just use a Stalogy, half year Stalogy like I have here. So I ordered the Kinbor off Amazon or AliExpress. Oh my gosh, it's here, how cute. I bought these mini calendars for my desk at work. How cute. I'll probably take this one for my desk here and then this one for my work desk. I didn't realize that they're gonna be this different sizes. How weird. Okay, um, but this is the Kinbor. Wow, it's huge. This is the A6 size of Vex style Kinbor, but they are very thick compared to Compared, wow, okay, let me just change. I'll show you guys this too. I got my advent calendar from the Coffee Monsters Co. This is really thick. So this is my first year with a Kinbor. Let me just check my order real quick. I am so sorry. Please tell me how you guys are doing. <laughs> um, okay, I guess that was my order. Okay, I didn't order any like covers or anything. So this is the Kinbor. This has been pretty popular on YouTube lately. I've been seeing a lot of it. I just haven't, and I've, I've also heard about it a lot through pe friends on Insta. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna pull out the Hobonichi Avec. But like, look how big I'm. the sizing is, how weird. This is the Sanzen paper, by the way. Do not throw it away. Um, yeah, this is the Evec. This is the thinness. What the heck? You can see the huge difference in size. It's not huge, actually, but I think the cover makes it thicker because the cover, I don't even know why, but there is definitely added thickness to the Kinbor. But this is it it almost looks bigger too it is slightly bigger do you notice can you see that it is slightly bigger than the evec but let's take a look inside actually i want to look at this little booklet cute it's kind of similar it gives you like little templates on how to use the pages cute it definitely reminds me of like the little book like you get with every hobonichi Okay, let's look inside. Ooh, the cover is definitely more, I guess, luxurious in feel than this standard cardboard, but this does add bulk. And the cover here is very like iridescent. I don't know how to explain this material. But this is the 2023. July and December. Oh, this is the wrong one. Okay. January to June. Okay, that makes more sense. Um, Here it is. The front page. Let me zoom. The paper quality definitely doesn't feel like Hobonichi Tomoe River paper. This is definitely more thicker and you can obviously tell by the number of pages. So it's definitely not the same. I thought it was, I thought the Kinbor this year was Tomoe River paper, but I guess not. I don't know, you let me know. I Isn't it, isn't it supposed to be like a different version of the TRP paper? I don't know. But okay, this is the inside. This is my first time looking through it too. They have like a, 
I don't even know what this is called. I don't know. I never use this page. But they have it from November, December 2022. And this is the monthly page. Ooh, I like this monthly page compared to this. I think the Kinbor is definitely less pronounced. The ink is gray, so you can barely see it. But I do like this a lot. This looks nice. January, February, March, April, May, June. Oh, wow. Okay, this is really nice. Okay. And something that's different about the Kinbor is every month, or they also have a plan your year page. And this blank side here. Ooh. So yeah, I ordered this because I just didn't want to deal with this space that's wasted here because of the quotes. I like how it's almost like the day free. Wow, okay, so I do like it. I'm going to keep the Kinbor and I'm gonna try it out for this year. And honestly, if I don't like it and I find myself not using it, I'm just gonna quickly go into the A6 um, Stology. I also, so yeah, this is, this, I guess I'm done with the Tomo I, I, I'm, I don't know, I'm a little nervous about this paper, but it's okay. Uh, I have the A5 Day Free and I have a bunch of notebooks, so I think it should be fine. I'm probably, I'm definitely not going to use this. I'm going to actually try to put it up for sale. I don't know. I'm definitely going to go with the Kimbor. I don't know why. The paper is exciting me. It's different. Oh, they have a bunch of different things in the back. It's different. I'm eager to try and we have some back pages as well so i'm eager we'll see how it goes i'm um, i'll keep you updated i don't want to mark on it right now but the cover is really nice okay so i will show you what my plans are this is the mo term and I was planning on using, this is the Moterm A6. I was planning on using this planner like this. I was thinking I would just keep it super simple like this, two notebooks, similar, basically the similar setup to this where I have a weekly and a daily um, log. So that's what I was thinking. Let me show you something else. Another option I have is using a chic sparrow traveler's notebook and i guess i can keep it pretty free this is really cute though this is the pocket plus it's not the pot it's not the correct a6 size and that's fine for right now i'm i'm it's still it's cyber monday today so i'm debating if i should order a if I can still order. Hold on, sorry, I got a notification. This is the wrong way. It does fit really well though. It's very flush. It's kind of similar to how the Passport Plus, um, you can use a pocket size and a Passport Plus in Chic Sparrow and you can also use A6 notebooks for the Pocket Plus notebooks. So it's very versatile. Is that the middle of the notebook? I have no idea. Maybe I'll use this one. Ah! I don't want to rip the 
paper. Okay, I'm being so rough right now. Okay, so this was my idea. Maybe I can use it like this, and this works. This is obviously the Pocket Plus, so maybe I'll try with the A6 size. Uh, maybe I'll grab a few to try, but this also works just as well. It's obviously the little gaps, but yeah, that is out. That is my plan. I like it so far. I'm still curious about this paper. So we'll see how I feel. But I definitely think this is going to be my planner for next year together like this. And I haven't set it up. Okay, so that's it for now. Uh, I don't know if you have any questions about the differences between the Kinbor and um, Avec. From this alone, you can see this is the Kinbor Avec two time, Kinbor Avec style, and you can see the huge difference in width. Do you see that? So you should be aware. I actually, and also the Kinbor is definitely bigger than the Hobonichi A6. So that's something you need to be aware of. You can see the little tiny bits of overlap. It's not too noticeable, but there is still some overlap. So that's something to be aware of. And the paper definitely does not feel like the Tomoe River paper that the Hobonichis use. So it was my understanding that they would be the exact same, but I, I guess not. It doesn't even feel, I would say this paper doesn't even feel like the new Sanzen Tomoe River paper. This is definitely more thinner than this one. And I wonder if, I, yeah, I'm curious to see how this paper works. Maybe I'll just try it right now. July, December, let's do this side because this is January. You just got a sneak peek of all the extra pages in the back that I probably will never use. So I'm going to just use, and this is similar to the Hobonichi, like the favorites. It's very similar. It's just written in Chinese instead of Japanese. Very cool. Is this Japanese actually? It might be Japanese. Mm, I feel so embarrassed. I don't know. <laughs> I, I feel embarrassed that I don't know this. Um, but okay, uh, let me try. Very curious. This is so similar to the Hobonichi. But let me write on the back to see how I like it. Okay. Right off the cuff. I would say that the paper definitely feels different from the Hobonichi. Let me bring out a fountain pen and see how the fountain pen works. This is a Twisby Eco Extra Fine in the Konpeki ink. It's definitely different, the paper. Um, You know what? I'm not sure how I like it. I'm going to be totally honest with you here. This is my first time using this Quinbor paper. Really, my I I don't know how I like the feel of the ink. I mean, the nib gliding onto the paper. I'm very particular about that. I I use I pretty much use a ballpoint pen, right? This is a ballpoint. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, it is different. The paper quality is almost, it feels chalky to me. I don't know if that's the right word, but 
yeah there's some slight ghosting in the back not as much as the tomoe river paper but it is a different feel i don't shoot i really don't know how i feel about it i just might use end up using the stalogy to be honest i love this paper so i don't know yet um that was really interesting i i'm sorry if that was not the best description this is truly my first time with a kinbor i had really no expectations honestly i just thought it was going to be the same but um it's not it's fine um i did have expectations actually it's fine though i'm gonna try something else i'm still i guess gonna be brainstorming for what my situation is gonna be next year um as far as like the covers and stuff too i'll see you'll be the first to know if i do end up doing a shakes barrel haul for the cyber monday i have like five different things in my car right now i've been looking at it like religiously every day <laughs> and i and so i don't know we have about six more hours and we'll see if i end up making that <laughs> cyber monday haul order i have so many things in my car and almost like in five different stores so um You'll be the first to know if I actually end up getting into my temptations and ordering a new Chic Sparrow in the A6 size. Um, okay, so I, yeah, I love this. I love their paper, but I don't know. We'll see. I really don't know if the Hoban I'm gonna stick with the Hobonichi. I wish I can, I wish I can. Um, I will let you know let's see let me get i'm gonna put this away and you'll be the first yeah you'll also be the first to know once i figure it out i haven't been posting much just because i'm really not sure what i'm doing for next year and also i've just been really lazy work is kicking my butt i don't know i'm tired all the time and yeah anyways i don't know yet um i guess next thing i'm gonna open since i have you here I'm going to actually open my cute, what is this, Coffee Monsters Co. order. I ordered off the pre-sale in, or pre-order for the advent calendar. So I'm very excited. And it, this is such cute packaging tape. I'm not going to save it or anything, but it is very cute. Oof. Oh my god, I got a peek. It's so cute. Let me pull everything out. Oh, interesting. This is how... I'm sorry if there's pre-order. I don't know if you guys are doing the advent calendar. I don't want to um, spoil it for you. And I'm actually a little bit shocked. I didn't know that the advent calendar, everything would come separately. I thought it would come like in a box where you open each package but i guess not but this is so cute i'm not gonna look at any of them day six. Ooh. Oh my gosh how do we know which day this is day advent day one december 1st okay i won't show you anymore i'm okay i'm gonna take the advent stuff out yeah, I'm sorry. I don't want to show. I don't want to ruin every anybody's surprise. I'm gonna take it away. Okay. Yeah. So that was my. I that's my Coffee Monsters Co. order. I also got the Wonderland pen collab washi. I'm so excited for these ones. They're so cute. And I also got the Halloween one, but it's way too late for this. Um, and some extra stickers. Cute. That is really cute. So that's about it for now. I will definitely let you know. I know I keep saying I'll be back, blah, 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 and I never come back. So I'm so sorry about that. I'm being really shitty with YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that. And I don't want to be like that. So yeah, that's, but that's it for me. This is so cute. Cute, this is huge. okay yeah these are so cute more stickers yay i also i'm gonna make a goal actually for next year to no longer buy any washi and stickers 
So that's gonna be something. Um, that'll be interesting how I fare, but that is definitely a goal of mine for next year because I have way too much, way, way too much stickers. I have way too much washi too, and they're, some of them are getting old. They're not sticky as well, but yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking around. I hope, I don't know if this was helpful. Probably not. Um, but thank you for watching and thank you so much for spending the time. I will be back. I will figure this out on my own without a camera and come back with an update on what I plan for the next year. And if there's a new Sheik's Barrel video, you know that I failed. But okay, thank you so much. Have a good day and I will see you guys soon. Bye.